Hello and welcome. In this short video, we are going to go over the property tables module, uh, just how to look up properties from tables and verify using one of the property test steps. Okay, so let's get started. Let's first see how the tables are organized. As you can see, tables A through E are in this uh, under this tab. Um, essentially, they divide all the working fluids into different types of material or thermodynamic models, a set of assumptions that lead to a particular model. So SL model, for instance, is solid liquid model, solid and liquid, these are the assumptions. You can get an overview here, but read the textbook if you want to understand that in, 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 in thorough details. So for instance, the gas models are divided into perfect gas model, ideal gas model, and real gas models. Of course, the real gas model can even model a fluid. Uh, anyways, table F through K, now going further into moist air model and all the other advanced models used in gas dynamics. And finally, you will find uh, there's an equation sheet, formula sheet for different models, a PDF file, and, and, and finally, an errata sheet for the textbook. So let's go and, oh, by the way, there are some hands-on examples here. And of course, the discussion tab connects you to the forum. You can ask a question about any tables or any charts that, that appear here. So let's quickly go over uh, the different rows here. So suppose you are doing PC model. Then, of course, the PC animation, if you click, it brings up uh, you know, the model, uh, it, overview of the model through a suitable animation. You can see the check mark. You can click again to close this animation page. So the animation appears below. If, if you move your pointer over, say, Steam or R134A, you can see smaller mass appear here or other information, relevant information. Uh, so suppose uh, we want to find, let's take a quick example. Suppose we want to find properties of superheated steam, superheated H2O. We click it and the table appears right underneath. Uh, if, if you want English units, you can go to the English unit uh, tab. Uh, checkbox. Let's use SI units and let's say we are interested in entropy at 70 kPa and 220 degrees Celsius. So how do you go about it? Well, at 70, 70 kPa, the pressure will be between uh, these two. Uh, 0.5 kPa, this is 50 kPa and this is 100 kPa. So 70 kPa would be somewhere in between, closer to this table. And I said the temperature should be 220, so it should be between these two temperatures. That means our answer will be somewhere between these four values. So we interpolate these two first. Let's say at 220 degrees Celsius, we say, okay, this will be about 8.2. Oh, this writing is pretty bad. And let's say we say this is about, uh, about 8 when interpolated. So now we interpolate between these two, 8.2 and 8.0. Again, I'm just use I estimation instead of bilinear interpolation. I'll say it's about 8.1, but we are, we'll be in the middle, so we'll be slightly below that. Let's say 8.09 is our guess. So if 8.09 is our guess, how do, you, how do we compare that, verify that? For that, we launch the test step. Okay, so to verify the interpolated value, we launch the test step. So here's our table in the bottom. If we click the test step button, then the test step launches on the top. H2O is already the default fluid, so we simply enter the pressure, 70 kPa, and temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. Click the calculate button, and, the, and we have calculated the, the value of entropy to be right here 8.08 .08, which is pretty close to our interpolated value of 8.09 um, in this manner by verifying interpolated value one can improve the ability to just i estimate the value of a property